Hello dear traders, I'm Anna Kasatkina here with another release of financial calendar for this week. In the early half of the week, traders will keep abreast of the following macroeconomic events. Thus, the People's Republic of China is to release its May inflation report on Tuesday. According to the forecast, consumer prices have grown by 2.4%. In April, the Chinese economy witnessed a slow pace of inflation amid overall deceleration of China's GDP. Compared with the same period of the last year, the CPI rose by 1.8 percent, below market expectations and the target set by the government of China, which is 3.5 percent. According to analysts, the government has now more reasons for the policy that was applied last year. It aims at funding infrastructure development. Moreover, Switzerland will release its report on unemployment for May on Tuesday. The indicator is expected to have declined to 3.1 percent. The April dynamic excluding seasonal factors showed a decline to 3.2 percent from 3.3 percent. However, the seasonally adjusted indicator remained unchanged. At the end of April, the number of unemployed decreased by 5,759 to 137,087 people. Meanwhile, the Office for National Statistics in the UK is about to publish its industrial production figures for April on Tuesday. Analysts anticipate a 2.89% increase. In March, industrial production in the country topped economists' expectations. This is further evidence that the economic recovery of the United Kingdom is gaining momentum. On a monthly basis, the UK industrial output slid by 0.1% on the back of declining oil and gas production. Compared with the same period last year, the indicator increased by 2.3%. Currently, the volume of industrial production is 11.6 percent down from the previous peak of the UK's GDP growth in the first quarter of 2008. In addition, the early half of the week will be marked with the following important events. Thus, Japan is to release its GDP report. On Tuesday, Australia will unveil its NAB business confidence data. On Wednesday, Japan will disclose its BSI manufacturing index figures. And Great Britain is to publish its labor market statistics for May. And this concludes the latest economic calendar for this week from InstaForex. Thank you and goodbye.